introduce herself and the collection and start with um, the first hotel today. Thank you, Fiona. So much, Jade. Hello, everyone. Thank you so much for taking the time to come today. I'm so impressed to see so many people here. So thank you so much for, for joining us this afternoon or this morning if you're over on the uh, over on the west side of where we are. So my name's Fiona. I'm the Director of Sales and Marketing at Van Nuys Recruit Exclusive. And I'm going to be telling you today about four of the lovely, well, five actually, of the lovely hotels in our collection. So that will be Blue Monkey in Barbados, um, Guana Island in the British Virgin Islands, Cat Mazar in St. Lucia, and Anne and Jade Mountain as well, which are also in St. Lucia. I'm hoping to be joined um, a bit later on by um, our hotelier partners as well. So please bear with us um, as I think they might be running a little bit behind this morning. Um, so I'm going to start with Blue Monkey. So let me just share my screen and we can uh, we can get started. Any questions at all, please feel free to um, feel free to pop them in the chat box at the bottom. I'm happy to get to those at the end. So I hope everyone can see my screen. Yeah, all good, Fiona. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to start with Blue Monkey Hotel and Beach Club, um, a leading hotel of the world, which is located in Barbados. So we're opening Blue Monkey. It'll be a brand new opening and that will be in March next year. We're hoping we might be able to open a little bit earlier, but just to be on the safe side and we don't want to disappoint anyone, especially during the busy winter season. Um, we're going to say for now we're going to open in March 2025. It'll be a brand new hotel. Um, it will be run by, um, well, the managing director will be Randy Wilkie, who, um, as I'm sure you all know, used to be the GM of Sandy Lane. We're located on the west coast of Barbados, so about half an hour from the airport. And it's going to be a beautiful 28 all suite um, hotel um, on Payne's Bay Beach. So as you can see, these are all renderings because it's um, it hasn't opened open jet and of course we don't have all this lovely furniture here in place quite yet it's still got another several another few months yet to uh, to go before opening but like i said it will be 28 suites one and two bedrooms and two of them will also have private plunge pools as well the rates will include airport transfers astro meet and greet service at the airport and the design will be very, very contemporary. So it'll be sold on a bed and breakfast basis and there'll be options to upgrade to half board. But we're not going to include all inclusive um, here because there's so many other hotels with all inclusive. And also we're on the West Coast, so we're so close to whole town. You can go out and about for food very easily from here. This is beautiful Paints Bay Beach where you can quite easily go swimming with the turtles. This is one of our 28 one bedroom suites. And as you can see, it's very contemporary in design, quite masculine as well. And all of the suites have beautiful views out towards the ocean. The one bedroom suites will have obviously one king size bedroom and they'll also have a separate living area with a pull out sofa bed for children. So we do welcome children here as well. And we'll have a small kitchenette here um, if, if you ever want to make any, uh, make or store any food here. Like I said, two of the uh, suites will have a plunge pool as well. And we'll have um, a fantastic bathroom here, which will have showers and bathtubs. So that's um, that's Blue Monkey in a nutshell. Like I said, we'll have fast track meet and greet service, airport transfers, there'll be a small pool. And in terms of F and B, we'll have um, Blue Bar, which will be great for sundowners. And we'll also have a rooftop lounge as well, which will be the only one in uh, in Barbados. We'll have Amara, which is our Lebanese restaurant as well. And uh, we'll serve food from the beach club as well. So that's Blue Monkey. Um, I'm delighted to see that Andrew from Guana is joining us now, um, but I will carry straight on um, through to Jay Mountain and on Chastney. So bear with me just a second whilst I open up this presentation. There it is, perfect. So my apologies that Caroline couldn't make it today to tell you about Jay Mountain and Anne but hopefully I will be able to cover, cover perfectly well for her. Um, has any of you actually been to Jay Mountain or Anne Chastenay? Um, feel free to pop that in the group chat if you, uh, if you have. 
And if you haven't been to Jade Mountain around Chasme, feel free to, um, have, have you seen the um, Amazing Hotels of the World Life Beyond the Lobby programme on BBC? It's well worth a watch if you get the chance. Um, it goes a whole hour into Jade Mountain and talks all about how um, incredible this, uh, this hotel is. So we're on the southwest coast of St. Lucia now, right opposite the UNESCO World Heritage Site Pitons. And Jade Mountain has um, 28 one bedroom, sort of one bedroom suites, and they have a missing fourth ball here as well. The sister property and chasse that I'll tell you about in just a moment is just here. And again, it has um, lovely views towards the pitons as well. To get from Jade Mountain down to the beach, and obviously you can walk, but there's also a golf uh, buggy service. So when you check in, you'll be given a, um, a phone, a burner phone that you can text your butler on and they can arrange transfers down to the beach for you. This is bookable on bed and breakfast all the way through to all inclusive. So you really do have your pick of what board basis you like. And I guess that depends on whether or not you get to go out and um, if you're gonna go out and experience the local food as well. So a special, we're set on this beautiful, um, beautiful estate here. Where, and on this estate, we have two beaches and we also have um, an old uh, ruins of a, an old cocoa plantation as well, where you can go hiking and mountain biking. We have a private helipad. So if you don't want to take the hour journey from the airport, you can obviously get your own private helicopter to land here. And we have two beaches, as I mentioned, and Chatelet Beach here. And off screen to the left, we have Antsmermen Beach. On the beach, uh, you can snorkel directly from the beach, of course, and you can dive directly from the beach. And there's also a paddy uh, dive center on the beach, Scuba St. Lucia, that do really great dive, diving either directly from the beach or they can take you out to one of the, um, one of the dive sites in the local area. So as I mentioned, all of the suites at, um, at J Mountain, apart from one, have a missing fourth wall. So they are open to the elements, but they're designed in such a way that the wind goes uh, through the rooms instead of um, funneling around the rooms. So they do keep nice and cool even without that air conditioning. And of course they have fans in as well. Each one of these sanctuaries has um, a private bridge going to it. So it really is quite an incredible um, architectural marvel. And Carolyn, who is supposed to be joining us today, her husband, Nick, is actually the uh, architect of uh, Jay Mountain. It is an adults only property, so unfortunately no children allowed here, but and Chasse, of course, children over six years are more than welcome. Each of the sanctuaries has a private pool apart from the lead-in Sky Whirlpool sanctuaries. The Sky Whirlpool sanctuaries have obviously a lovely uh, jacuzzi within the rooms, um, but if people are really going for that um, Jade Mountain stereotype, which obviously has the big open walls and the beautiful infinity pools, then I really do suggest staying in one of the private infinity pools. You have a number of categories and the different categories depend on the size of the pool and the size of the room as well. And obviously they go up and up in size, until we get to the galaxy sanctuaries that I'll show you in just a moment here, which have um, a view of the sunset as well as of the pitons, and they have a number of terraces to relax on as well. I believe we had some guests here that stayed for more than a month and barely left their, their sanctuary because <laughs> they enjoyed it so much there. The infinity pools are also heated as well, and like I said, each one comes with their own private butler. In terms of dining, um, Jade Mountain guests can access Anne Chastanay's uh, facility, so whether that's a spa or the restaurants, but we do have our own Jade Mountain Club, which is the, um, the main restaurant for Jade Mountain, which is fine dining, and is uh, just below the rooftop um, in, the, in the same building. On the celestial terrace, we have sundowners, and we can also organize Pilates and yoga up there as well, a perfect place to watch the sunset in the evenings. And of course, we organise private dinners as well throughout people's stay, including lionfish um, hunting. So you can eat them to beat them, so they say. We have uh, a farm on our estate as well, so it really is farm to table. We also have um, a dog rescue centre on site as well. And uh, we can offer cookery lessons to, um, to our guests as well. 
One of the most exciting things about Jay Mountain, other than the incredible views and the incredible food, is that we have uh, we make our own chocolate here and we have a chocolate laboratory. You can have chocolate tea, you can try chocolate tasting, learn how to make chocolate, you can have a chocolate massage, a chocolate facial. You can really do pretty much anything here with chocolate. It really is a fabulous experience. In terms of uh, activities, we do offer yoga, which is on a complimentary basis. Um, and we have, for those who don't have a pool in their rooms, then we have an infinity pool um, by our restaurant as well, which is open during non-hours um, that the restaurant isn't open. So moving on from uh, Jay Mountain, next we're going to talk about Anshastane, which is a sister property to Jay Mountain. And Chastanay has a number of beautiful suites and rooms which overlook either the hillside, the beach or the pitons. This is a more of a four and a half star product. So quite often people will want to stay at Jay Mountain for maybe a week, but perhaps their budget doesn't stretch. So we um, often um, suggest that people spend a few nights at Chastanay and a few nights at Jay Mountain so that they can experience both. As you can see, it's very uh, Caribbean in style. All the fabrics are made in the local town and we even have a furniture maker on site as well to, um, to, to make the furniture for the resort. So everything is very, very much locally sourced. We also have a uh, one-off um, pool suite as well called the Cassiarina Suite, which has views of the Pitons. And we also have a beautiful beach house as well, which is located directly on the beach. So if anyone wants to come uh, to the beach and they don't want to go up and down the hill, then we have this option there, which is absolutely perfect. It's just moments from the beach, just steps. You can see the beach is just beyond this fence here. So in terms of food, we have our Caribbean restaurant, which specializes in fish. We have a vegan restaurant as well, but please bear in mind the vegan restaurant um, is, um, is fabulous, but you can also have a vegan menu in any other of the restaurants in uh, Anshastane. So you're not just restricted just to one restaurant. We have the beach grill as well, which is very casual barbecue. We have Aspar, As Apsara, I can never pronounce that, uh, which is a, um, a fusion of Indian and Caribbean food. And of course, we can offer private dining on the beach as well. So the plantation I mentioned before, here you can go walking, hiking, bird watching. You can also um, enjoy um, a tour with uh, Mr. Bird who, or Dr. Bird who um, can take you bird watching around here. Um, we can also lend you bikes as well. So you can go jungle biking uh, in, this, in this area to burn up all that lovely food. And of course, we have Jesse Fridays where we have uh, jazz on our private yacht as well. And um, so we can take you all around the Piton spots, enjoying cocktails, of course, rum cocktails and um, listening to the jazz. In terms of water sports, um, we have non-motorized water sports available from the beach, which are complimentary, of course. And because we're in a marine reserve, snorkeling is, is directly from the beach. Very easy to do. We even have a reef called Turtle Reef. So if you've always dreamed of uh, seeing turtles out in the sea, then uh, they are very easy to see here at Anchaste. I've already mentioned we have a scuba centre here, which is a really great scuba centre. They are very, very safe. It's one of the safest diving experiences I've ever had in the Caribbean. Um, and they can take you either straight from the beach or they can take you to one of the uh, dive sites that's close to uh, close to the property. And of course, the best diving is in the south of uh, south of St. Lucia. We have a spa as well. If you're staying at Jade Mountain, the spa treatments can be done in your room. But if you're at Anshastane, you can go down to the spa and have your spa treatments there. And we have yoga twice a day as well. So that is uh, Jade Mountain and Chateau and Blue Monkey in a nutshell. I'm going to hand over to Andrew now, if, uh, if you're ready, Andrew. Um, I'm going to stop sharing my screen. And <coughs> I am ready. Perfect. And so if you could share your screen, that would be fantastic. And uh, I'll leave you to um, to present on Guana Island, one of the most beautiful places I think I've ever visited in my life. Over to you. OK, can you see my screen? Good morning. So um, my name is Andrew Marston and I'm the Managing Director of Guana Island. So Guana is an 850 acre private island 
and were located in the British Virgin Islands. Our occupancy doesn't exceed 42 people. We have seven beaches and we are one island. We own the whole island. Guan has been family owned since 1975 and the philosophy of the family has always been to maintain an authentic Caribbean experience and to not overly, com overly commercialize or overly develop the property. We're actually less than 1% developed and we have no public facility, no public bars, restaurants or marinas. So the only people on the island are those registered guests of the hotel that doesn't exceed 42 people. And you can see from this picture, the accommodations sit high up along the scenic ridge of the island. We have seven spectacular beaches. This is White Bay Beach. It's a half mile of powder white sand. It truly is one of the best beaches in the BVI and even the Caribbean. It's fully staffed throughout the day and it has a fleet of beach toys, which are also all inclusive. And then around the island, there's six other beaches that you can get to by swimming, snorkeling or hiking for the more adventurous. We have 18 accommodations and all of our accommodations sit high up along the scenic ridge of the island. 15 of those accommodations are sea view cottages. And our sea view cottages start from $1,045 a night in low season. And that is based upon double occupancy. And we are an all inclusive resort. That's three meals a day, beverages, alcohol, everything. As all the cottages sit up high, they all have spectacular views of the ocean. They all have a private terrace overlooking the Atlantic, the Caribbean, and sometimes both. And three of the cottages are also available with private pools as well. We have three luxury villas, and our villas range from one to four bedroom. All of the villas come with private pools. They all come with private golf carts. It's worth noting that all of the villas have Wi-Fi, as does the beach as well, so connectivity isn't an issue. The villas start from $2,300 a night, and that's in low season, based as a one bedroom. And again, that's all inclusive, double occupancy. Our largest villa is Yoast House, and that is available as up to a four bedroom villa, has infinity pool, large living room, gourmet kitchen. Harbour is a two bedroom villa. And again, that has a sprawling terrace and it also has an infinity pool overlooking both the Atlantic and the Caribbean. And the only accommodation we have at the water's edge is North Beach Villa. And that is a two bedroom villa that sits right at the foot of the Atlantic Ocean. And again, that also has a private pool. We are available for private island takeovers. And for an island takeover, you can, again, do up to 42 people. And our rates, depending on the season and how many people, range from twenty-five dollars to $56,000 per night, again, as an all-inclusive experience. All the dining happens at the clubhouse, where we serve farm-to-table cuisine on outdoor dining terraces. We have an organic orchard that produces much as 40% of the island's produce and guests can go down to the orchard, meet the master gardener and truly pick the freshest of fruit straight from the vine. For activities on land, we have tennis and lawn games. On the ocean, White Bay Beach, which has a fleet of beach toys that are all inclusive. And those range from Hobie cats, kayaks, sunfish, paddle boats, We have 12 miles of hiking trails, and those are 12 groomed miles. So they're, they're, they're marked, we have trail maps, and we go out there and make sure that they are in good condition. And I think it's very rare that you will, that you find such incredible hiking and also such incredible beaches on the same destination. We have a hibiscus spa for beauty treatments. And we say we're the only nature sanctuary with a cocktail hour. We have a flock of flamingos that live in our salt pond. Sometimes there'll be six, sometimes as many as 60. And often in the early morning, you'll see them flying in over the mountains. And to get to us from the UK, you'd fly through Antigua. And then you take a connecting flight over to Tortola. 
once you get to Tortola Airport, we're then 10 minutes on our private boat from Tortola Airport. Alternatively, you can fly through Miami, San Juan, or St. Thomas. And I think an important thing to talk about is, um, you know, who's our ideal guest? And we really cover the whole spectrum. We've been family owned for so many years that family are an important um, an important element of that make up our guests. But we also, we do a lot of honeymooners, a lot of empty nesters. And I think the sort of perfect picture that about us, I was recently talking to some guests on Ireland who they were there for their 14th visit. And they first came for their honeymoon. And then they started coming back as a family and their eldest son was actually moving abroad, which was why they had come again. And I imagine that they will continue to come as empty nesters. So I do think that, you know, it, it gives a little bit of, a, of an insight as to the progression of people and also the fact that repeat guests do make such a huge part of our business. And that's all I have. That looked beautiful. Thank you so much, Andrew. Um, yeah, I've got to say Guana is one of the most um, incredible places I've ever been. It has the beaches and the sea as good, if not better than the Maldives. And then you've got the beautiful scenery in the background with the mountains and also the wildlife, the rock iguana and the flamingo as well. It really is a, an absolutely beautiful place. Um, unfortunately, um, Rufus can't make it. He's just, I've just had a, a call with him and unfortunately he's um, stuck in a meeting. So you have me again to cover Cap Mazar in St. Lucia. So bear with me once again whilst I share my uh, share my screen. And I'm going to jump off. Okay, thank you so much, Andrew. Thank you. I'll You're welcome. Off. Thank you. Okay, so Cat Mazar in St. Lucia. So we're back in St. Lucia again, but this time in the north of St. Lucia. Um, hopefully some of you have visited Cat Mazar. It's been um, around for quite some time. It's a René Chateau property now, which is a relatively new development. So it really is testament to the incredible food and service um, at Cat Mazar. So where are we? We're up here in the north of the island. So we're right opposite Pigeon Island, and we are about 10 minutes from Rodney Bay. And obviously you fly into the south and then you would get um, a 90 minute uh, road transfer up to the north. Otherwise, you can get a boat transfer to Rodney Bay, then a short taxi transfer to the hotel. Or you can get a helicopter to Castries, which is always the best way. And then get a road transfer, which takes about 20 minutes from Castries up to the hotel. The, um, if you book um, one of our one bedroom suites for five bedrooms for, sorry, five nights or more, then you get your complimentary uh, helicopter transfer one way and complimentary road transfer the other way. It is thoroughly recommended, especially since these roads are very, very windy through St. Lucia. Um, every time I take a fam trip there, people do look a bit green. So I would recommend the helicopter transfer um, or the boat if you can. So the hotel itself has 49 rooms and suites and one four bedroom uh, villa called Saman House. And like I said, we're only 10 minutes from Rodney Bay and five minutes from now two championship golf courses. These are our um, 49 rooms and suites here. This is our four bedroom villa called Saman House, which is where the owners used to live. This here is the Cliff at Cap, our fine dining restaurants. This is one of our communal pools just here. Off screen, just in the center of the resort, we have um, a, an adults only pool there. And then down here, we have Rock Maison, our private dining platform, which is very, very popular and booked most evenings. So this is good for um, couples who want a romantic evening together, small groups, uh, wedding proposals. There's um, a zip wire that goes down from the cliff at Cap. Um, not for people, I might add, not for people, just for uh, champagne and, uh, and any of those wedding proposals. So to get to Rock Maisel, you go down these steps here, across the rocks, and then just up here. We have a beach here called the uh, called um, Smuggler's Cove, and we have Naked Fisherman Beach Bar and Grill down on the beach as well. You can book um, this product on bed and breakfast half board or all inclusive. Um, so if you have clients who've maybe been before and don't want to go out for food and drink, I would recommend the all inclusive. You can eat in either restaurant. 
and um, the drinks are unlimited as well. So each of those white buildings I've shown you before, they uh, make up one, um, one big white building. So we have a garden view room here that interconnects to the one bedroom suite and outer connects to the junior suite. So you can join them up to make villa suites or you can just take them uh, individually. We had a renovation um, last year and the year before last, and we're just finishing off the renovation now because the uh, hotel is currently closed for the summer, summer season. Um, we're currently finishing off the bathrooms and the kitchens um, in the one bedroom suites. But as you can see, it's very light, bright, still feels very Caribbean though, but is still quite uh, contemporary and fresh. We enjoy lovely sea views up here and some of the one bedroom suites either have a rooftop pool, which of course is my favourite because you have the views out towards the, uh, sorry, out towards Pigeon Island um, and out towards the sea and it's very private. We can do private barbecues up here as well. Or you can have um, a suite on the ground floor, which is where you'd have your, um, your swing pool in the garden. Salmon House is our standalone four bedroom villa and obviously it's in the best location on the whole estate. Um, as you can see, you've got these sweeping views here and the cliff is just below here. The gardens, of course, are very well kept. This is the adults only pool I was telling you about previously. And then the na Naked Fisherman Beach Bar and Grill down on the beach. We have non-motorised water sports down here too, um, which are free to use for hotel guests. But it's a lovely vibe down here in the evenings. We have live music and we have um, tiki torches burning. So it is a really great atmosphere. It's very popular with people who are coming from, uh, from outside. And it gives a great alternative to the fine dining restaurant. This is Rock Maison. Um, there's a couple down here, as you can see, um, but it's plenty of space for groups of up to about 12. You can see the zip wire just about coming down here. So occasionally we have weddings down here too. And this is the Cliff at Cat fine dining restaurant run by Craig Jones, who's Caribbean chef of the year. He's a Welsh Rastafarian vegetarian bodybuilder. So you won't miss him if you see him around Cat Mesa. The food here is absolutely incredible. And we have a whole separate menu for vegetarian clients too. So no one will be left hungry. And uh, this here is a picture of the um, cliff top pool, beautiful views out towards the pitons. And I hope you've noticed how big and squidgy these uh, sun lounges are. So um, really, really comfortable and very much a high end five star product here. And that's Cap Maison in a nutshell. Um, so hopefully I can answer all of your questions. Um, Thank you so much, Fiona. <laughs> no problem. Thank you. Amazing hotels. I think we're all sat there watching and really inspired now to send our clients and visit ourselves. So amazing. Um, we did have quite a few questions that have come in. If anybody hasn't submitted a question yet, if you go to the Q&A section, um, we'll be able to pick those up. So we will start with the questions. Um, one from Maria. When can you start booking the Blue Monkey? Um, from now, actually, we don't have um, a full reservations team or a full reservations office yet because obviously we're not opening until March, but we are taking um, bookings from now. So um, in my follow up, I will send you the contact details for um, for the reservations um, office there. But like I said, the reservations office isn't 100% up and running yet, but we can take bookings um, as they come in from now. Perfect. And a question from Nelson for Jade Mountain. Are there any agent rates that are offered? Absolutely, yes. If uh, if you're interested in visiting Jade Mountain or any of the hotels in the Van Isaac portfolio, please do um, just pop me an email. Let me know um, your booking stats um, and when obviously when you're looking at traveling and we can look at availability. Obviously, the majority of our hotels are very small, so it would very much depend on the time of year you're looking to travel and also the... Um, uh, the occupancy at that moment as well. Great, thank you. And a question um, for Andrew, but we, we covered this in the presentation. It was about how you get to go on Ireland, but that was covered. But perhaps in the follow up, Fiona, you could just put that in there again for the agent so they can refer to it. Absolutely. I mean, I can be quite happy to go through it. Obviously, from from the UK, you'd fly to Antigua, and then from Antigua, you get um, into Caribbean co-share with BA flight over to Tortola. And then from Totola Airport, you get picked up um, by by taxi, and it's like a 
two minutes it's barely anything you can easily walk it a two minute transfer to the dock and then from there you get a 10 minute boat transfer to Guana Island it sounds complicated but it's actually incredibly straightforward and um, it's such a lovely way to arrive on a, on a boat to Guana Island it sounds amazing um, a question from Magdalena, but I'm not sure which hotel she's referring to. So she's asked two questions um, about bird watching and bikes being included or not included at an additional cost. I think that would probably be Jay Mountain. Um, so bird watching, it depends if you want to go with somebody or not. Um, you can quite easily walk around the um, ruins of the old um, estate um, on your own. That's very easy to do, just bought a pair of binoculars, um, you'll see plenty of birds. But if you want to go with, with a guide, there would be a charge for that. And if you want to um, borrow a bike, then yeah, there would be a charge for that as well. Okay, thank you. And Magdalena was also asking how you can book the hotel. So I'm not sure where in the world Magdalena is. She's asking about booking direct, um, but obviously you will have your B2B partners in the UK as well. So there'll be many options, <laughs> I'm sure, for the agents to find where to book. Absolutely. So depending on where you're based, of course, um, if you're in the UK, then um, you can get rates for the majority of the Caribbean hotels through Hummingbird if you don't have a direct contract, but you can go directly to them as well if you prefer. Thank you. And a question from Nelson for Guana Island. Um, is single occupancy available? We don't have any uh, single rooms as such, Nelson. They're all double or king-sized rooms. Um, but of course, um, we get plenty of solo travel travellers in Guana. It's actually quite a... Um, quite a sociable place um, even though it's so uh, small and there's not many people there because the meal times are set every evening um, you can choose either from having a private table or a communal table so if you're traveling on your own it's actually it can be very social uh, very social experience perfect thank you um, another question on where to book so we've got this for almost all of the hotels so I think um, in your follow-up it might be an idea just maybe for the UK because we know um, who our B2B partners would be um, for that just to list those options for the agents so somebody um, Ashanti was asking how they would book Guan Island um, but I'm assuming that direct bookings are obviously taken if, if that's an option for agents as well yes, yeah um, and a question from Elsa, so relating to all of the properties covered um, about weddings, do all of the properties offer weddings and in your follow up, are you able to share any wedding packages? Absolutely, yeah, all of the, um, yes, sorry, I had to think then because Blue Monkey is so new, we haven't obviously had any weddings there yet, but of course, um, we can organise weddings at all of the properties we have done, we continue to, um, usually they're tailor-made to suit whatever you like, but we also sometimes have um, packages available as a sort of, sort of starting point so you can know what the sort of basic costs are before you start adding on other things as well, but it's certainly possible. Perfect, thank you. Um, a few people have been asking for your contact details, but again, I'm pretty sure Fiona will put that in her follow-up. Um, and also asking about the rec a recording of the webinar, so we will send a recording to Fiona to share with you as well in her follow-up. And the last question from Gillian, are there any restaurants that are close by to Cap Maison? Absolutely, yes. So, um, yeah, so there's plenty of restaurants. Um, so you can eat in other hotels if you like. I mean, if you don't want to go to a necessarily local restaurant. Um, so at Cap Maison, you have the Cliff at Cap Fine Dining. You also have a number of dining experiences, whether that's in the wine cellar, um, a private dining in your in your villa or um, down on Rock Maison. There's also the Naked Fisherman, which is um, more casual dining on the beach. Other hotels that are very close by, you have the Body Holiday in the Royalton as well. But then what's most popular is to go down to um, Rodney Bay and there's an absolute array of beautiful restaurants down in Rodney Bay. Um, it's very easy to go down there and find really, really great food at very reasonable prices. But um, I noticed in your question, you said um, you can book it on bed and breakfast and a half board. That's correct. But you can also book Cat Maison on All Inclusive as well if you want to. Perfect. Thank you very much, Fiona. That is all the questions for you um, and very well covered. And the follow up, of course, will detail some of those other bits as well. So now it's time for our quiz question. So if everybody could please go to the chat function and please make sure that your drop down does say everybody, um, because I actually sent a message in earlier and accidentally sent it to Fiona only, who was a panelist. So just make sure it says everybody so that we can see it. 
And I'm sure you all know how this works by now, but just to remind you of the rules. Um, so we're going to ask, Fiona's going to ask you a question and whoever answers the question um, correctly, the quickest, will win 10 points into our spin to win um, prize draw. So everybody gets one entry just for being on the webinar today. And then that person that gets the answer correct um, will win 10 entries. And the prize today is an amazing £100 Amazon voucher. So this is a really great prize as well. So if everybody is ready, I'm going to hand back to Fiona to ask that question. OK, so what board bases can Guan Island be booked on? Gosh, people are so fast. It does, doesn't it? <laughs> I'm just scrolling back up. So what is the correct answer, Fiona? So it's all inclusive. We only offer all inclusive at Guana Island. It's very much um, like going to your own private island. What Andrew didn't tell you um, during the presentation was um, quite how much a home from home it does feel like. Um, in that when I was there for the first time, I was very taken aback by seeing um, clients go behind the bar and helping themselves, even though the bar shop was there ready to make all these beautiful cocktails. And one time I did actually see um, a client just wander in the kitchen to make a sandwich, even though, of course, we would happily do that for them. So wow. it really <laughs> is like your own private island when you're there. It's such a beautiful laid back experience, but it is all inclusive. So everything everything is included apart from spa treatments and um, your transfers, which are a little bit extra, but they're not very expensive. Um, and gosh, I think that's probably about it, unless you want anything particularly special or private dining experience anywhere, pretty much everything else is included. Lovely, thank you. So with that um, being the correct answer, Gillian Mernin was the person to guess that correctly the quickest. So you will get 10 entries. Well done, Gillian, and well done to everybody else that got it correct. It's been a really amazing webinar. Thank you so much, Fiona, for coming on today to inspire everybody um, about these luxury hotels. Um, I'm pretty sure everybody's going to be recommending them now. Um, they look simply amazing. Fiona will send a follow up to everybody. So if anybody thinks of a question after the webinar or needs anything, she'll be right there to help all of you as well. So that is all from us. Thank you, everybody, so much for joining. Thank you again, Fiona. And we'll see you all soon. Thank you so much, Jade. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Um, I'm always here if you need any help with anything. And uh, we'll see you soon. Lovely. Thank you so much. Bye, everyone.